the Buddha's teachings uh, often mention the importance, uh, in fact, the centrality of uh, being mindful in the present moment uh, and uh, not getting too uh, invested in future plans or too enwrapped with the past, grinding things over and over again uh, as memories come up and then uh, getting lost in uh, plans and ideas uh, for the future. Even um, even as much as the future being, you know, today, what, what's planned for me today or what I'm plan for, planning for today. And life in a monastery seems to be uh, perfectly uh, wired to, to support that because things change here so quickly uh, and we have to be willing to adapt and uh, change on a moment's notice. Uh, you know, I think just about the past few days uh, for myself, I had... Uh, all sorts of plans for different periods of the day yesterday and, and also this morning for the chore period and uh, other ideas for uh, later on today. And uh, both days, uh, things have come up. People have had concerns uh, needing to uh, kind of uh, get some consultation on something or uh, talk about something or uh, reconfigure how it was that I was going to be planning to spend my time. and. You know, and you can see the, the mind sort of kind of jump into, well, that's not, that's not on my list, that's not on my, on my plans, I was going to do this, and I didn't get to do it yesterday, so I was really planning to get to that today. And, but sometimes that's just not possible. Uh, things crop up, or like Tante Jasaro working on the, the airlock uh, as the major problem with the um, uh, water system and that kind of uh, coming uh, up quickly. And then right in the middle of that, a completely unrelated leak happening somewhere else in the water system and having to set aside one thing and pick up another thing that was more important, responding to the, the change uh, that happens very quickly. And, you know, that's just kind of the thing that happens around here all the time. So it forces us to just learn how to more quickly let go uh, and not get too invested in, in uh, plans uh, that in the moment um, willingness to just drop what has to be dropped and pick up what has to be picked up and, and uh, return to it later. It's kind of like you know a very uh, very skillful ballet dance and, you know you're just standing there and people moving around you and you're uh, just uh, pivoting and turning and, and uh, moving along with uh, the forces around you so that you're not obstructing uh, the flow of, of how the world is unfolding uh, in this moment. And, you know, or uh, probably most of you know, uh, Grace has a, has a health concern that she needs to uh, get taken care of, so she's not here this morning, going in to get it checked out. and. Uh, that wasn't expected, uh, so all the plans uh, change very quickly. So maintaining that central uh, awareness and presence of where we are right here, right now, uh, you have sort of a, a tentative idea of what you might be doing in the next hour, in the next few hours, uh, but uh, there's always the need to uh, be alert and present and not uh, not invested in things going the way that uh, we've planned. And uh, to be willing to pivot on a dime, just to uh, change course, to adjust, and not to get ruffled by that. And that's, a, that's, a, that's just a basic training for not, you know, not getting involved in the, in the dukkha of trying to have predictability in our lives because it is all changing, it's a, the fundamental law of Anicca. Uh, nothing uh, can be counted on to uh, go the way that we expect, hope, want, want it to be that way. Uh, causes and conditions are constantly arising and ceasing, and uh, karma coming to uh, fruition uh, in unexpected ways, just when we thought we've had you know, a great string of meditation, um, days and uh, things are looking good and we're having bright, clear states of mind, then 
uh, all of a sudden that changes and, and some uh, obstructions arise that we never expect. It's Mara comes from left field when we're uh, getting a bit too uh, complacent. Uh, as long as there's uh, defilements or kilesa there, then uh, they'll spring out sometimes at the most unexpected time. So even our meditation can take a sudden change, a sudden turn. And just to realize that that's part of the conditioned realm. Uh, that's part of living out our uh, kama uh, and learning how to respond right here in the moment because that's where the power of, of uh, change, and the power uh, of uh, uh, adjustment and, and resetting course, our course of, of uh, action in our life, that's where it resides, is right here in this present moment. So to be alert, to be aware, to be flexible, uh, and to be uh, willing to just stay at the center uh, when uh, the world is whirring around us and to respond uh, in an appropriate way as needed. So I'll leave that for this morning's reflection. <laughs>